Welcome to this MapServe video tutorial, where I'll briefly show you how to order mapping from MapServe. To start with, you need to create an account using your name, your email, and a password. Next, you need to search for the location that you want. You can do that from the home page or using the search box. You can search using a number of different options, including postcode, OS Easting Northing, place name, OS Grid Reference, or Latitude and Longitude. I'm going to start with a postcode. Next, select the address that you want, and the mapping shown here should be centered on the location that you requested. You can fine-tune the area by holding the mouse button down and dragging it like so in the direction that you want, releasing the mouse button when you're happy with the area. Next, you need to select the area to order. There are a number of different options you can choose. If you just want a simple rectangle, just click the rectangle button. If you need to order mapping and print it out, then you need the paper size button that will allow you to order a certain area that can be printed on a set piece of paper at a set scale so that the map will come out correctly. You can choose the coverage of the map on your plan by selecting it here. You can also use Set Area, which allows you to select, for example, one hectare of mapping. Other ways to select an area of mapping are also available here. You can also save a selected area by clicking on this option here and set a name of your choice for the area selected. If you want to draw on the map before ordering, for example, if you're ordering a PDF format map, there are a number of tools here. For example, the Feature tool will automatically select the outline of the property of the address, while the Boundary tool will automatically select the geographic boundary of the property. Snap to Point is useful if you want to only partly draw around a property boundary or the outline of the property. You can also manually add an outline using the Outline tool here. I'm going to start with the Rectangle option. To select the tool, just click on it once, then move to the map. Click once and hold the mouse button down. Drag to the bottom right corner of the area that you want and then release the mouse button. You can fine tune the area by clicking once on the shape that you've just created and dragging it like so. When you're happy with the area, release the mouse button again. On the left hand side, you can see the various maps for the location you've just drawn. This includes OS Master Map, which is the most detailed mapping which you can see in the background here. This is available in a number of different formats, including for CAD and GIS software. We also offer a PDF, which prints out to a set scale, and PNG, which is a simple image file. In addition, we offer a variety of optional CAD format layers, including contours, building heights, freehold boundaries, and a national tree map. They will appear grayed out if they're not available for the location you've searched for. OS Mastermind is also available in 3D format, suitable for CAD software. Historic maps allow you to get historical overviews of your site dating back to the 19th century. You can find them and preview them here. There are also other map options lower down the menu, including aerial photography and other smaller scale OS mapping which you can preview by clicking on the preview button. It will appear on the screen like so. To order mapping, in this case OS Master Map, all you need to do is click Add to Basket, and it'll appear in the basket over here. Then you can click Checkout to enter credit card or debit card details, and then download the mapping immediately in digital format. We do also offer other ways to pay, for example, by a monthly invoice. You can edit your personal details and download previous orders by clicking on Account. You can check your invoices, add additional users, or update your payment details quickly. So, hopefully, this helps. Thank you for watching.